Hey, welcome back. We're here at Dee's Tackle Box and today we were doing a bunch of sorting and just kind of organizing some things out of the way, relining some of our reels and going through a couple of tackle boxes that we were uh, putting away. And in one of those tackle boxes, I had forgot that I had all these um, um, Akron, Ohio made lures. And I don't know if uh, a lot of y'all are aware, but the well-known um, jitter stick by Fred Arbogast, I know y'all know that one, has a predecessor that was made here in Texas and it was out of Tyler, Texas. And I believe the correct name for this one is the uh, Mad Dad. And this was Nick Krim's uh, lure company here out of Tyler. Now, these lures here are semi, um, well, you could say they kind of look alike in a way, but not, not totally. So let me point out a couple of things that some of you guys might not be aware of. Uh, some of, some people just go and they buy them. They don't see the differences and think they're both the same thing. Even when they're labeled like that, they still catalog them as the same uh, company. So uh, let's go over, uh, over these real quick. I want to be not uh, taking up too much of your time, but as thorough as we can be in a little bit of time so that we can move on to the next one. Uh, this one right here is your... 1960s original um, Cream Company hard bait called the Doodad, and as you can tell, it's a surface top water, um, just kind of like the um, action you would get, I guess, from a jitterbug. But you can tell that the lips are a little different as opposed to those. You see, so maybe Fred Arbor has decided, hey, this angle here makes better noise than this one here because from what i understand back in uh 1960 they started with these and they started building these here out of tyler texas and and um they were doing great with that but by the 1970s uh, nick cream and company they went over to the um plastics and the molds and the whole worm thing and by 1971 they didn't have any of the of these lures listed in any other catalog so um, what's understood a lot of the information about that company was lost and so uh, from what I understand is around 1970 this company and Nick Cream and his uh, hard bait lures division was then adopted by um, Fred Arbogast and the crew at Akron Ohio but the hardware that was being cranked out for these guys if you can see the name on there it says a Crown Ohio at the very bottom there and so when you look at that it, a lot of people think oh well it's got to be the exact same company and the exact same uh, um, models just probably different sizes different options but no look one of the things that you can tell from the older ones is the eyes you see how the eye sockets set in like that they have like a concave halfway through almost like a back end of a missile there on both sides well the jitter sticks check out the eyeballs they're flat just like the jitterbugs they have the different eyes and they also have the different hardware this has a hook hanger with the bell or a cup or a, a hook protector this one has the um, hangers on the different type of uh, setup here the surface hardware that it has prevents this hook from reaching over and scratching the lip down there but let me show you a couple of other ones and we'll see some differences between them. And um, some of them are subtle, some of them are real noticeable. So you guys can uh, look and see. Let's show you, here's another model. This would be the doodad. So if you notice, this guy here is the early version, the 60s version of the original which later came out to be let me see if I got one here well this one doesn't have the lip on it but this one here is the Arbor Gas version the cream company out of Tyler and the Arbor Gas so in 1970s uh, um, from what I understand the original company sold these models and I guess the molds or whatever to 
uh, Harbor Gas and Company, or they adopted mostly each of the models that they had. Uh, where's the mud bugs? We had some mud bugs here that were <clears throat> also uh, produced here in um, Tyler, Texas. I don't know where I put those at right now, but here is uh, another one of these. What is this? The dude, uh, the Mad Dad. And so, if you can tell, it's like the mini version of the bigger jitter stick, almost size one. So in the jitter sticks, we have the big size and the smaller size, right? Well, the same thing on these cream company lures. Um, let me show you another thing here. We got different varieties too, because one of these guys, this Mad Dad uh, shows you right here the name, but it also has um, different hardware. If you notice on these, they have a propeller there with the hook protector there as well. So it doesn't allow it to come back towards the bait itself. Well, on this one here, which is the cast atom, these are a lot, I guess more of a popping type of action, but you also get the spinner at the back tail end. You can see the more uh, visible hook protector there so that it doesn't reach the lure. Um, a lot of times I've seen people that take them off and they don't want to have that sucker there. I don't know if it's because of the weight, the buoyancy, uh, it upsets the lure's balance or what. But if you if you take notice, that saves your lure from getting um, scratched up or even uh, sometimes from the um, actual hook catching the line. So that's another thing about these here. If you notice on the on the older ones, they have details that you can really tell. Those eyes, the shape of the lip, and these uh, hook hangers. I mean, they're very different from the from the Arborgast setup. Arborgast has these type of hangers. The lip is more rounded at the top, more like a bean, and then the eyes are flat. See, and it does have the propeller on the back on this uh, particular jitter stick. But if you notice, it doesn't have any of the other pieces that the doodads do. Ah, here you go. There you go. So, let's move on to a couple of other ones before I get out of here. I don't know which one this is uh, as far as um, if Arbor Gas picked up something to like. But this is uh, the one that came out of Tyler, Texas. And it's called the Lollipop. And if you can see, I mean, it's a topwater popping lure. It's a um, pretty cool design. It's got a little bit of a weedless setup here. And um, I'm going to try this one, actually, and let you all know how it goes. But here's another one that we can compare. Um, let's see. We got a... Here's another doodad right there. See the, the body, the profile? This is the old... Tyler, Texas made ones here. Crayons do that. Single hook. And the um, weedless setup for that one. This one here is Mr. Arborgast's um, jitterbug, a jointed jitterbug. And you can see the difference in the lip. There you go. Lips more, it has the little uh, rounded edge out farther than the way that these would have the point at the end. So a couple of differences in two different companies that um, I would just say two different companies that um, were helping each other and one ended up absorbing the other and, and kept on producing some really awesome lures with their idea. So um, if you guys have any of these lures out there and y'all want to talk about that or see what's going on with the, what you have in your uh, taco box that you don't recognize, don't hesitate to send me a message. I'll take a look and see uh, where I can help you. And if you have any other questions, particular things as far as uh, uh, brands and reels and rods and you know years made and all that good stuff, send us a message or drop us an email or whatever you want to do. And um, get a hold of us and we'll holler back at y'all as soon as we can.